They have their phones at their fingertips and they can see the big wide world and they can see people making money and having fun and, or the murders or whatever's happening. But if someone wants to be a wrestler or a pilot, where do they go? If they want to have performing arts, we're lucky enough that we have people like ourselves who go into schools and say, come to the Millfield, go to the Dugdale, come to the Christmas pantomimes and have joy. But then what about the other things? How can we push them to see that the future is brighter? It's not that just we think they're, they're road men or young people on the road. How can we have places like Platinum and other community-based things where it's safe for young people to come in and say, you have a home at home, but you have a home with us too. And I hope that I give that to my students. Because I was very lucky to have a home. Me personally, as a young person, I'm sick and tired of seeing this on the news every single day or every single week, I'm sick and tired. And it's just, it's draining for us young people. And I feel like I'm speaking on behalf of myself and speaking on behalf of my friends, most importantly, is it shouldn't have to be a thing where they step out of the house and they're scared to leave every day because it's our community at the end of the day. Why is it that they have to step out and they're scared? But places like Platinum, for example, changed my life and it changed so many other people's lives as well. And it's allowing these children from such a young age to stay in that enclosed and space, uh, like comfortable environment where they're learning all these different things, they're learning these new skills and they're realising, oh, I'm good at this and they stay away from it because I've seen it happen and Nina's seen it happen. There's so many lives that have been saved and so many young boys, young girls, where they've been kept, kept off the streets. And at the other end of the day, we need more of the stuff that, for when our children walk back out that day because there's nothing there except for what's being provided by the Edmonton Community Partnership, by Platinum Sports, by Impact Sports. And these people, that as, as, as much as they're doing, it's not enough. It is, it's barely scratching the surface. You know, we've had, um, Dream, dream, Believe, Achieve workshops for our children, mental health. There's no funding to help children with their mental health. You know, they're providing that for us. We have after school clubs that give our children the opportunity to aspire, to, to do the things that other people take for granted. But the funding just isn't here. The level of deprivation in Edmonton means that parents can't afford to give the children the opportunities that so many children have taken for granted. And we just need more of it. The thing is, we have to look at the bigger picture. When we tend to do stuff, we look at the smaller picture, like investment for six weeks, four weeks, um, probably two months max. But um, these kids, they're not here for two weeks. They're not here for four weeks. They're here for the rest of their lives. And if we keep them in the same place, there's no change. If we're going to keep them in the same place, then let's at least make it bigger and better. We can't keep them in the same place and then just keep them in the same situation they're living in. What's your goal? That's what you want to achieve. I feel like we're all saying all these things. What do you want to achieve? Thank you for all of you for being here. So, so when I was preparing for you speaking, it's very much. When I grew up, my background was similar to yours. My dad was working all sorts of hours, driving buses, never, never much home. My mum was working really hard. And what saved me and my brothers was youth work, youth clubs school clubs, summer schemes, because they kept us out of trouble, but more importantly they allowed us to flourish and thrive. To us. And I often reflect on why is it some people from my council estate didn't do as well and some people did. What was the difference between doing well and not doing well? It's a community. That's what this is, this is a community. But the stuff you get sometimes supplement to the family, supplement to the school. And so the mission that I've got since I've become there is for everyone to have a helping hand. The second called the London Promise. You work hard, you get a helping hand, and you can achieve anything. For too many Londoners, there's no helping hands. That's my goal. And it goes back to saying you said it that when you're about investing in young people. Look, our mission is to invest in young people so they flourish and thrive. There are some Londoners who do really, really well because they're blessed to be born in a middle class family. They go to a school that's well resourced, they eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They've got role models. They can see it so they can be it. But too many young Londoners, I'm afraid, haven't got those same chances. And so what we're doing in Seymour, when I became mayor, 
there was this horrible phrase that civil servants use called hard to reach communities. They're not hard to reach, we're hard to reach.